Hello, y'all. Hello, hello, loved ones. How y'all been doing? Uh, I know it's been a while. I haven't did a video. Uh, I don't know if I've posted a video here, but I did it at Facebook. Uh, I'm now in my narcissistic recovery with my family. I've been doing ancestral healing with my fam uh, on my ancestors since I got into honoring the ancestors. And I've been wanting to uh, heal my immediate family. And my sister called my mother, uh, and she kind of let us know what was going on with her because uh, she had problems in her relationship with her boyfriend. And so uh, she uh, was able to do the research, and she gave me the clues. She told me about the narcissistic disorder, and uh, that opened my eyes to a whole brand new thing. Uh, right now, I've been doing a lot of healing work on myself. Uh, I've been going through a lot of emotions. Uh, however, you know, I do understand because of the conditions of our ancestors coming over here being enslaved and in a diabolical religion where God and Satan seem like the same person killing people and damning people. I can understand, uh, you know, where this behavior, where this, this behavior comes from. So... Uh, but at the same time, I'm still going through my own thing. I've decided to go no contact with my mom and sister. Uh, you know, because for years, you know, I, I began to isolate, isolate and I would try to have a positive conversation with both of them. And they were always in negative. Uh, my mom would do the, uh, uh, what did you call it, gaslighting to me? Uh, the cold shoulder, just cut me off for no reason or say I was doing something, project something onto me that she was doing. It was just crazy. Uh, she would do that to me. So uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I didn't understand none of that. So it all made sense when I began to do the research on it. Uh, when I confronted my mom on her actually having the disorder and um, you know, on a spiritual aspect, it was very alarming for me. On a spiritual aspect, it's been such a lesson for me. Uh, you know, it's been such a lesson for me because uh, it's made me truly know that there is toxic energy out there and there are living vampires that draws off people's abilities like mine. And they know that they're doing it. Uh, you know, who to know my mom was a, a one of them. But, you know, it... it it's a reflection now looking at it from a spiritual uh, uh, standpoint and, and trying to get my emotions out of it um, from the spiritual aspect these are reflections of lessons that we should you know we, we need to learn on our spiritual journey you know these are reflections you know um, looking at it from a, a spiritual perspective because all these are messages for me uh, to be aware, to have that awareness, and to help me on my spiritual journey in this knowledge, because these are my own experiences. And uh, I think when we have those experiences, we can be better help someone else. Until you go through an experience like this, you can't help anyone else until you have lived something like this. And this, it's, this is it's very traumatic because... Um, I've been doing some mirroring work, which is great for my therapy that I've been doing uh, with self-worth and, and self-love. Uh, it has really been helping me. I can feel it have a difference on my subconscious and my being. Um, it has really been helping me do healing. I've been doing a lot of meditating. Uh, I've been bringing in, uh, I've been doing some Orisha prayers for them. Uh, for the ancestors have also been doing some angel healing with them too so just trying to elevate that them and send the healing energy to them and also majorly myself uh heal myself from the damage that has been done because the more i work on myself i can elevate you know those genetic patterns i can alleviate those energy genetic patterns out of my dna so uh it's, it's something though it has had a profound impact on me uh, I've also decided to I decided to write a it's somewhat of a memoir or a journal 
you know, and it's free. Maybe it'll help other people. Uh, and then plus, I want to know more about my spiritual journey. I wrote the I wrote the book, the ebook, because I wanted to reach out other people like me that experience these uh, empathic abilities in a narcissistic family. Uh, I you know I I guess that's my own research. Uh, because it seemed like the scapegoats, they seem to be empathic, uh, empathic individuals. And that is just, you know, um, it's just a little different because my spiritual journey is like my spirit. I was meant to take this journey and just, uh, learning about who I was as a child going back and looking, revisiting those memories. It has been a, such a major uh, impact on my spiritual journey. So I decided to write a journal about the, uh, you know, my lifetime spiritual journey, how I came to meet, meet the ancestors. Uh, you know, and I wanted to share this book. It's free. Um, I want to reach out to other women, uh, you know, other people, period, that has experienced anything... Uh, you know, like like me, uh, more the abilities, uh, or you know, because once I began to isolate, uh, my intuition became so um, it heightened again. It became heightened again. Everything came clear. Uh, my I, my dreams are starting to come back as well. I just start having dreams, and they start coming. Uh, you know, coming. You know, coming to pass or whatever. They're manifesting dreams. So that that just started up maybe about two three days ago. Uh, and then, uh, but I've always heard like the voices, the higher mind, my higher, you know, the higher mind speaking to me, my higher power begin to speak to me in such profound ways. If you want to call a guardian angel, a higher power, it just starts speaking to me and ministering to my spirit and elevating my spirit and, and uh, shifting my consciousness, uh, you know, uh, my awareness uh, became more, you know, and it still is about, you know, Finding out that I come from such a toxic family and knowing more how I was affected, uh, how my generational line was affected by uh, this 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 diabolical mindset, uh, and I'm not the only uh, person that has a story like this. There's other people just like me. Our mindset is not unique at all. Uh, I just want to touch hands with the people that are going through this, that may need support and may uh, want to know what to do you know how do I protect myself from from emotional or mental abuse uh, and I've I seen a lot of it in the East End projects I've seen a lot of it in Highland Court you know here in, in Arkansas uh, those are the, the you know poverty urban areas quote unquote you know that's the best term I know how to use for that uh, but uh, I seen a, I saw a lot of it out there uh, and I also decided uh, to because this is not talked about a lot in our community, uh, it's not, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Because it's not talked about a lot in our community, uh, I, I wanted to, you know, come up with some type of nonprofit that, that they could print pamphlets and, and, and uh, bring awareness, you know, some type of flowers or brochures to bring awareness uh, to this to our community. So people will know how to deal with emotional abuse or to know emotional and, and uh, mental abuse when they see it and how to protect themselves from it. You know, we, we talk about physical abuse and all that, but uh, the mental and, and, and emotional abuse, it stays with you for a long time. And those are bruises that you have to go in and do some inner work on and, and it takes special type of help and self-care to do it. And so uh, I thought that would be a good idea to um, print out some little pamphlets and, and pass them out in our neighborhood, uh, in our community. That's the first step is bring awareness about it. So, uh, and I'm leaving a link down here, uh, a free link to read the book, uh, My Lifetime, The Lifetime Journey, How I Came to Meet the Ancestors. I hope it helps you. Uh, I also uh, leave a link to the, the book I wrote, and it's called Removing Generational Curses. And in this book is uh, some prayers uh, to help you elevate your ancestors. 
uh, and there's also some stuff about uh, about the, my experiences in my life. Uh, a lot more details in that book than it is in my lifetime journal. Uh, the lifetime journey. That was just a. It's just a journal uh, of, of, you know, a quick journal, uh, Snapchat back into my life and what I experienced. And it is some experiences in that book. It's a really good book as well. I also got prayers in there for to help people that need to do ancestral healing on their DNA. So there is a prayer in there for that. Uh, but like I said, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, thanks for all your support. Uh, and like I said, I'm still doing healing on this. I know it's going to take some time. Uh, I'm still doing my readings, you know, uh, as well. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of writing here lately. Uh, you know, filtering through my own emotions because, I mean, the most scariest thing about this to me is making sure that I wasn't affected by it and that I don't bring these behaviors uh, into the relationships with the people I love. That's the most scariest thing. I mean, I just, you know, it's just, it's, you know, you question your own sanity because these people make you question your own sanity. You've been dealing with it for so long. You question your own sanity. And so, uh, that's, 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 I just want to make sure I've worked through everything and, and got rid of all that crud that's in my DNA and properly praying for my ancestors, you know, uh, and, and not have that, you know, work through that anger because yes, I'm angry, but I understand what happened. You know, I, I, I don't know how to feel about my mom and sister right now. I really don't. I'm going to be honest about it. Um. Uh, you know, I really don't know how to feel. You know, I, I love them, but it's just time to love myself more. And so I felt like no contact was good for me right now until I sort things out uh, within myself. Because my, cause, because my energy is the most important thing to me now that I'm more aware uh, of energy. And, and uh, through the study of metaphysics, I understand, uh, I understand how these things operate and so it's very imperative for me uh to protect my energy you know and to work on me now they need to work on them and and, and it's been 40 years of this it's like wake, waking up from a 40-year nightmare it's just not you know it is you know and i have my moments you know i have my moments where i cry or, you know, I may get angry about an event. My mind will just snap back to the event, you know. And it's like reliving it all over again. This type of trauma, you relive it all over again, like to that moment. You feel it intensely, everything. You feel it, it just be within you, you know. And it has an effect on your body, too. So, I'm, I'm trying to get past, you know, all this trauma, you know, work through all of that. And, um... Uh, and I'm just being grateful as well. I'm learning how to be happy too because I really have a happy life. Despite all what has happened to me and finding out in this, this I'm in this perfect moment in my life where I'm doing where I want, want to do. Uh, I'm, I'm really uh, seeking a more spiritual uh, career, lifestyle, you know, a more, a more spiritual life period. Doing something that's more spiritual, uh, you know, Something that I believe in, something I, I that help other people, you know. I always wanted a life like that, so I'm in a, really in a good place in my life where I'm finding this out, and it's really at a good time because I can do the healing and the work on myself that I need because I have the tools. I'm open uh, to this brand new awareness, and I'm open uh, to to new ways of healing myself and understanding myself. So uh, I look at it, at it from a positive aspect too. I'm not going to let this thing, this thing tried to destroy my life purposely. Even through my mom. You know, my mom was used as a tool to destroy the light within me. That's how I look at it. And she, you know, whether she was checked in or not, you know, for the ride, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, but I have to look at this giving me more purpose in my life, you know, and... I, you know, if I, if my story, if this story, if my story can help other people, you know, if it can help heal you and, and stop you from going through years and years and years of abuse and misuse by your family, 
about your boyfriend because I had horrible relationships because I was getting in relationships just like my mom. People that would abuse me mentally and emotionally. You know what I'm saying? I only had one uh, that abused me uh, physically, but the rest of them was emotionally and mentally abusing me. You know? So, uh, you know, if I can help anybody, and that's horrible, that the going through that. Like, I, you even go through the, me waking up, I went through a phase like, I'm just so silly. I just so stupid. You know, I was calling myself that because, you know, I didn't know this was going on. I didn't think somebody could even do stuff like this to people or want to do stuff like this to people. You know what I'm saying? But there's people out there like that that, 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 that do this kind of stuff to people, you know. Uh, and it's, it's for their own amusement because they feel entitled, you know. And it's, you know, it's a, I went through a whole bunch of changes uh, in experiencing this for 40 years. So, you know, I feel like the universe, the ancestors, you know, this is a lesson for me. And if and it's and I, I have experienced it. And if my experience can transform or help anybody else, you know, leave their situation, whether it's with a boyfriend that's you know abusive, you know, narcissistically abusive, or if it's family, or it's the siblings. Uh, I think I mean I I think I have a I have, I can tell you about my experience, and maybe that'll be able to help you because I I've, I've had. That was experience from, you know, just looking back, you know, these horrible relationships, not knowing what the hell was wrong with these people, you know. Um, and from a spiritual point, when I became more spiritual, I began to be able to uh, better identify toxic people because they always reveal themselves. It's always a demeanor, uh, 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 something about them. That it's just very odd and off, and it's not authentic. And so now that I look back at it, you know, it was always something that showed me a person that wasn't authentic. So, and that's the main thing you have to uh, uh, look at from these people because they're not going to, or if they're putting up a front, it's something their authenticity, who they really is. When you really see it, that's who they really is. The act would would drop. You know what I'm saying? When you really see who they really is, that's when you'd be like, oh, my God, it's, you want to, you know, it's, it's no, this is not right. So that, that's when you'll see it. You know, that's the best way for me to describe it. But, you know, like I said, I'm going through my healing process. The mirroring therapy has really been helping me. That's the, what process I'm in now. And I'm doing a lot of meditating and healing myself. Uh, and I'm doing a lot of writing as well. So, and... You like I said, check out that free link to that book. Uh, I hope the book helped you. Please share with other people that you think they might benefit from it. Uh, please support uh, this nonprofit and get more information and awareness out there like that because um, this is going on in our community. Uh, and if I feel like sharing more details about my healing process, I'll come with that as well. But you know, just filtering through it. But I've shared a lot of information. Uh, about the journey in those books so and I, I know you'll enjoy it and I know you'll get some out of it uh, thank you so much for watching thank you so much uh, for su uh, subscribing to me um, love and light may the ancestors be with you